in Britain. When I was in the cat game, the rush of adrenaline used to fill my body, you know, just, it was unbelievable. You know, I got more out of that than the money at the time, you know, as quick as it came. I used to spend it, you know, that was, that was me. Cheers. I just love it a little bit, the camera fell up, it's beautiful. Yeah. Sid's career in crime meant that he lived a lavish lifestyle, which his stepdaughter Natasha remembers all too well. Oh, look, there's Pet and Cole. We did have a lovely home. Lots of grounds, woods at the back. You know, there was a lot of, you know, cash around. Often if I knew Mum and Sid had been out, I'd sort of wait up for them to come home so I could charge him to take his shoes off and he used to, like, give me £10 to take his shoes off. Oh, my God. Hey, look, look, you're done here, <laughs> There was a couple of occasions that I remember um, wondering why he was all dressed in black, you know, and he'd come home and, you know, he'd have like a, you know, a toolbox or something. And I think, hmm, he used to sort of seal and say nothing. That was the best way. Sid's days of luxury didn't last long and he spent ten and a half years in prison. He was quite successful. But, you know, it always catches up with you in the end, and it did with him. In prison, Sid became a reformed character and found a passion for writing. One day I was reading Wind in the Willows, and I realised, Sidney, you can write something like this. Sidney the well-spoken spider and his web-weaving wife, Winnie. <laughs> yeah, it just shows you how my brain works, right? Life in prison was tough. When I got the ten years, I realised I've got to use this rather than stagnate in prison. Whilst locked up, Sid wrote a 300-page novel about an orphan duck, and his stories had an eager, captive audience. Every night, round my bed, I had some of the most serious criminals in England, and they loved it. One guy, this man was a, a dangerous art role, like, cry, like with a tear in his eye, choked up at some of the stories I used to tell, you know what I mean? Out of bad comes good, and I think that's what's happened with him. He's definitely a reformed character. 100%, you know, this, that, the life of crime got left behind a long, long time ago. Now, Sid is looking to raise some money to promote his book in order to support his family. Denzel's little brain was ticking over, trying to remember as much as possible. I want this book to be successful, to give back to my children and my grandchildren what they and me have missed out on in all those years that I was locked away. It is a big, hairy git as your mother and I shouldn't should really read that bit, should I? To help Sid get hold of the cash, his stepdaughter Natasha has gathered together 